react to a few flashes, but they said she'll get used to it. I don't like this photo shoot so far. Hi guys, Jessica here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an episode of America's Next Top Model where they put the girls on elephants and make them pose for Venus razors. I don't even know how this is going to work, but I, I, don't, I haven't seen the pictures. I haven't seen the photo shoot. So let's take a look. Oh. Jay just like strolls in on this giant elephant. He's like, yeah, you know, just arriving to work. I'm a few minutes late. Hope you guys don't mind. You know, the elephant, you know. Isn't this cool? Yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 To be next to a creature that preposterous and that big, it was just like, wow. Today, you girls are going to do a shoot for Venus Vibrant. To the okay, I can't take him seriously trying to give the whole concept on top of this elephant. I don't know how I feel about the elephants being used as like a prop in the photo shoot. So the first powered razor for women. So we're actually gonna shoot in the middle of the jungle. So the only way to get to our location is on an elephant. And then we're gonna take these harnesses off the elephant's backs and you girls are gonna be posing with the elephant. So he says the only way he can get to the location is by elephant. There's another way I can recommend walking, running. I'd rather do the walk, to be honest. I'm not much of a runner. Isn't that exciting? Yes. I automatically start trying to think about poses that I could do because I need more variety in my poses. Danielle, what is that face about? They're huge. They're gentle. Now, by the way, Oh, okay. Why do they have to be like 10 people on the elephant? That, okay. I will say I'm not an animal expert. I don't know much about elephants. What do you guys think about the concept of them posing with the elephants, riding on the elephants? Leave your thoughts down below. Maybe there's an, an animal expert or somebody who lives in Thailand and can tell us a little bit more about this. So I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments. This jungle, it's, they're, they're going to tilt and heave and hoe. Oh my God. <gasps> they literally set up a whole, like, furniture on this elephant's back. He's having to carry, like, four people. All right, I don't like seeing that. Danielle. They got a ladder next to the elephant so that they can climb up and down. Well, you guys could have just walked or taken like a small little car or something. A golf cart? You could have taken a golf cart. You didn't need to do this whole thing. Uh, well, they okay, they crossed the river. Okay, maybe they, whatever. I don't even know. What am I saying? I'm <laughs> just, I don't know. I just don't see the need to like, there had to have been another way that where they didn't cross the river that they could have just walked or taken like a small golf cart or something, climbed a tree. I love elephants. I think they're beautiful animals, super smart animals. They're putting these ladders on them. They're literally building furniture on, t on their backs. I don't like that. Here, so get something to drink first. You know what else I noticed? There's a whole creative team, makeup, hair, styling. So did they have to ride on the elephants too or did they get there somewhere else? Plus they have tents set up. So that would have had to mean that they brought like a van or something to bring everything. I'm looking way too much into this, aren't I? I don't know. Just something that I noticed. Here are your girls. The whole idea of the shoot is to contrast your smooth legs with the rough skin of the elephant. So what's really cool about the Venus Vibrance, even though we're in the middle of the jungle, it's battery powered. This is a totally new shaving experience. All right, let's, let's, see, let's see how this, these turn out. That will instantly reveal more radiant skin. 
We set up a little shaving station over there. So if you can head over there and start shaving your legs. Stop. The, a shaving station so they can shave their legs in the jungle. I can literally. Yeah. Okay. I love how the shaving station is like these little plastic chairs. I'm gonna be the first to tell you I use a men's razor. They they like to mark up the price of women's razors just because of their pink. It's called the pink tax. You should look it up. Very, very interesting. Couldn't they have had them do this before they left for the safari? You know, done it in the comfort of the hotel. Please let me know. Just say I've reached my limit. All right. The only thing that's keeping me going right now is my drive. I really want to sell your legs in this shot. I need you to keep in mind. I want this to be a strong fashion pose. <gasps> what are they doing? Just hold on, Danielle. It's okay. When the camera goes off, the elephant gets nervous. What is he what is he using right there? He's like putting it on the elephant's ear and then he's like just dragging the elephant. This is making me really uncomfortable to watch, to be honest. I hate seeing animals in distress like this. Especially for something like a photo shoot. I'm not to regurgitate on somebody's face right now. She's gonna react to a few flashes, but they said she'll get used to it. What? If you can see that the animal is uncomfortable with the flash of a camera, then why just why do the photo shoot like this? Like you're you're making the the animal anxious. You're you're stressing the animal out. Oh my god! So I just looked something up. Elephants make a sound known as tr a trumpet to signal excitement, aggression, and distress. Wow. So does that mean that the elephant is in distress right now? Because that's what I'm seeing. That's literally what we're seeing. Just keep trying to work with it. I immediately feel really curious about how's everyone else doing and kind of learn from the other girls. Like a pro, I love it. I love your body language right now. It's almost like you're kind of animalistic on top of the elephant. Pretty. That's gorgeous. Last frame. Good job, Danielle. Okay, what is this? They use it to handle the elephants? Does anyone know what this is? Can anyone tell us what this is and what it's used for? I don't like this photo shoot so far. Uh, oh, it's been this. Okay, so they are in the dinosaur family. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Are elephants a part of the dinosaur family? <laughs> the elephant is so beautiful. You beautiful animal. I'm sorry they put you through this. Lean forward. You're leaning back with it. I want you to bring your arm up but you lean forward. Yeah, like you're caressing your legs, your smooth legs. You're thinking about it too much. It should feel very natural and fluid. No, no. Okay, forget it. Do something else. When you give her direction, she instantly becomes stiff and she feels like maybe it's almost a critique. The last frame. The frame that I'm looking at, I think her her body positioning looks beautiful. I like, you know, the way that she's setting up her legs. It is all about the legs and she's showing her legs off. Fronda looked beautiful. But as soon as Fronda felt that she had to pose, she turned her jaw into it. She got stiff. Chin down. Let me show you something, Fronda. If you're the lens, okay, you do this. And I know you've got a better pose. I need you to, you're doing it again. Give me something that's direct, pretty. <gasps> is, is that normal for, a, for an elephant to do? To, you know, to get on, to be screaming and jump up like that? I'm, I'm actually like very curious. Is that normal? Is that a sign of distress? Is the elephant just excited? Can can anyone tell us? Because I'm very interested to know. It was just like, what are you doing? Soft expression, pretty, last shot, beautiful. That last shot was genius. When you get it, Rhonda, it's genius. Will you tell them what I said about the leg? Okay. I feel a lot of pressure because it is only five girls. I really want to focus on doing the best poses. 
Oh, work, girl. Okay, now. There you go. Shoot it. Even rest your arm on the elephant. There you go. Is that okay to do on the elephant? She's like on his leg. I think the posing is great, but it's really hard for me to focus on the posing when, again, I'm just seeing an animal who may be in distress. Does, does that make sense? Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, the elephant every two seconds, but at the same time, the elephant. Yeah. Trying something new, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. <gasps> <laughs> All right. Listen, if the elephant is swatting you with its ear, then I think you should just take that as a sign. Maybe leave it alone. She doesn't want to be part of the photo shoot. You guys should have just left her out of this. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie, her poses are great. Her poses are fire. Minus the elephant being on top of the elephant and then putting her foot on the elephant. This poor. Somehow you have got some magic with that elephant. Joni rocked it out. She was so creative. Going after her motivated me to try and match that. Sort Wait, of energy. there was a chain around the elephant's neck. So that's the that's the chain that she was holding on to when she was doing that pose. I don't feel good about that. Did you guys see that? There's the chain right there on the elephant's neck that she was holding on to when she was doing that pose. She was she was probably like really tugging it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't even I, no. Uh, obviously, I do not agree with this at all. I don't think elephants or any animals should be chained up. I'm trying to just look at this from the photo shoot perspective, but it's really hard because the elephants are so beautiful. I'm gonna start doing a little bit of the start off trying to do the, the same foot thing that Joni did, so she's basically biting her idea. Sarah saw what Joni did. Sarah, obviously being a very intelligent girl, saw my reaction to Joni. Chin down a bit. There you go. But Sarah didn't really execute it in nearly the same graceful fashion that Joni did. In my... Chin down a bit. Definitely harder than it looks to... Well, actually, it probably looks pretty hard. Sarah copies me and damn yeah, my nerves. I don't want to help anybody else out. March into that. Chinda, there you go. This shoot's interesting because it takes place in Thailand, where I'm sure there's a lot of tourism revolving around this type of thing, having elephants pose with you and pictures riding elephants yeah it is a photo shoot and i was trying to focus on the photo shoot at the same time i couldn't because there's an innocent animal being involved they're exploiting these innocent animals for pictures and to make money these poor animals shouldn't be doing this they should be just out living their life and having no one bother them that's what i think they shouldn't be chained up and giving people rides let's get to the judging and see these photos I like her leg placement, but not her arm placement. There's an arm back here that's kind of kind of merging into the rest of her body. It's kind of like this. Wait, her this leg placement seems a little bit awkward. Habib, I love him or her. I love her, Habibte. Wow. Okay, it's giving me like Tinkerbell vibes. Like she's kind of soaring off, Fair, fairy in the forest. Keebler elf that's gonna come out of the tree and then she's gonna fly down and grab a cookie elephants like screaming they kept the chain on the elephant too you're not trying to hide it at all that you're doing this to the elephant okay the retouching I would have loved to have seen more texture in the skin the lighting's very nice I like the side light and it looks like there was maybe a fill on the side of her face to kind of, you know, lighten up the shadows. So very interesting lighting. It doesn't look like there was too much coloring done to this one. So I think they kept it pretty natural. You really thought that the shoot was about the legs, but they said that you copied some of Joni's original poses and didn't make them your own. Okay, so who cares? It's a competition. Don't you guys always say that? So if she, if she, as long as she comes up with her shot, who, like it doesn't matter. You know, how many different poses can you do in an elephant? 
I'm sure that the handlers gave them ideas for the poses beforehand because there's no way a model or somebody who's not familiar with elephants is going to be like, okay, just step on its leg. All right, Jay, so you had a photo shoot and here's your best shot. Yeah, I don't like this pose with her legs. Her one leg being over the other. I don't know why they wouldn't tell her about that. I think she looks great in this one, but yeah, the pose for this one, it, it this one's looking stiff. But you know what? I think they chose this one purposely because they're trying to make a point like, oh, you were too stiff. Here's the picture that proves it, even though she probably fixed it and did other poses that were better than this. That's my theory. So let's see how you did in your photo shoot. What? They chose this picture for her? Why? She had a much better pose. They chose the worst picture possible. This is not her, her best pose. She was killing it during the challenge and they chose this for her. The elephant is yelling, trumpeting in this one as well. Well, I must say, Sarah, no, no, girl. If you made that attempt. Did the foot one. The foot it's fabulous. It's wonderful. Oh, they're trying to compare the two, the girl that copied her and then versus her, and then he's like, you the a girl who copied sucked or something. Why would you do that? They both they both did different poses. And she can do the same pose as somebody else and make it different. There's not just one way to put like weren't they all on the elephant's back? So then would are they all technically copying each other? You know, they're it doesn't make sense. They're trying to create this rivalry between them by comparing the two. They constantly do that. And I pick up on that real quick. I know exactly what they're doing. They think that they're being subtle. Like, oh, Joni compared to this one. That's, you know. Can you take that gray off, Joni? It's making you look like my stomach. There you go. Now you look like a woman, like a young lady. She looks like a woman because she took off one of her tank tops. The retouching is showing up a little bit more in this picture. It's very patchy. It looks like somebody took the healing brush tool or even like the patch tool and just went over a couple spots and was like, yeah, this is good. No one's going to zoom in. And then they zoomed in. <laughs> and the guy retouching was like, ah, oh, damn. Probably should have uh, used frequency separation or dodge and burn for that one. Yeah. Get a chance to dance because I was in the hospital for IV, oxygen, and no dehydration, exhaustion, and a little bit of food poisoning. Oh, you had to go to the hospital because you were feeling sick and dehydrated and exhausted and stressed out from the show and what we put you guys through? You seem a little high maintenance. Photo shoot. And here's your best shot. Wow. This is a, okay, I just have to say the editing, lighting is beautiful. I love the side light. You see that there's light right here on her cheek. There's a highlight here on her leg. Highlight right here. The primary highlight seems to be right here on her dress. Very nice use of light. It's not too much. It's well exposed. Face editing, I'm not a huge fan of. Again, I wish there was more of that texture, but it is clean. Going through your film, I didn't see you sick. I didn't see anything. I have a like, stomach condition and it is the worst pain in the world, but I just have to model through it. Okay. Look how Tyra br always brings up her experiences. I'm noticing that even more and more. Every time the models are going through something. Well, I had a friend who also, you know, had this conditioner. Oh, I was sick once too. Oh, I burnt my face one time. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, it's, okay, just let her share her story. You don't always have to interject and be like, well, I also went through it. You know what I mean? I noticed that she does that a lot. Okay, let's see who goes home. Okay, we get it. Jade, you marched to your own drum. But if you knew everything, Jade, you'd be a supermodel already. And that hasn't happened yet. And Feranda, we don't know what you're marching to. Like, who comes up with the script? Like, it's like the ending of a Disney movie. We don't know the beat that you're marching to. <laughs> okay, just tell them who went home. Khalsina <laughs> Ba'a. So I may believe in you, but it's about you taking direction. They always gotta end it on that note. They always have they always have to be like, well, it's not you didn't take a good picture. That's not why we're keeping you. Oh, it's not because you're funny. That's that's not why you're staying. They always gotta add in that extra roast at the end. 
they don't let the girls get off easy. They're like, oh, you were crying for five minutes because you thought you were going to leave this competition and your dreams were going to come to an end. Yeah, about that. Well, you're actually, you're going to stay, but remember that you had the worst picture and you did a terrible job and I don't really believe in you, but you, that's, you know what, but you get to stay, I guess. The thing that I really want to know is what do you think about the elephants being used in this photo shoot? Sound off in the comments. See you guys later.